Good morning, everybody. We are in northern Washington, just getting ready to cross over into Canada. We're going to go to Red Mountain today, but I looked at the webcams and it was a foggy, windy, blowing mess. So we're going to keep our legs fresh for Monday at Whitewater and Tuesday at Baldface. Hi, good morning. Yeah, I do. Are you meeting anyone up here or is it just your My brother is coming up tomorrow. Okay. We, we got a cat skiing trip. All right, there yeah. you go. Thank okay. you so much. Let's go. Gorgeous up here. There's the heli choppers. It is cold. I think Revelstoke got a foot last night. I haven't checked Baldface, but they probably got a foot too. It's nice out. It's cold, dry. Choppers are flying. Chaining up. Got Patty P, how you feeling today? After that drive, a lot better than I thought I'd be feeling. Yeah, what time did we load on the bus? 6.15, buddy. Six. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of season one. We have finally made it up to the staging area of Bald Face Valhalla. Took about an hour to get up here, probably two and a half hours from the time the bus picked us up from the hotel. We're gonna meet our groups, go through a quick avalanche training course. It is 8.30 right now. We're scheduled to take our first run at 9.15. Uh, they got a bunch of snow in the last few days, so the snow quality is good. It's a little light, cold, it should be a blower day. I feel like it's game day. Got a good night of sleep last night. It's Come on, baby. It's time. There's <laughs> key. Monster. If you guys didn't know, this guy's an IFPB pro bodybuilder. The left here, out onto that little knoll, okay? Yeah, you walk. So give me a second yeah. and follow the track. It is a little bit of an uphill, so you need to carry a bit of speed to get up onto that knoll. Set a couple of here first, please. Okay, bud. Looks incredible. Heck yeah. You've showed up for some of the finest conditions of the year. Awesome. So you don't have to always see your buddy. As long as you're hooting and hollering to know that they're with you, totally good. If you guys show up to the regroup without your buddy, that means he's probably lost. Could be in a tree well, could be in a position, right? Hoot and holler, have fun with your buddy. Yeah. First two. Yeah. Go ahead, have fun with your buddy. Yeah. Woo. Oh my God. Nice mellow warm up. Make sure I don't lose the guide's track. 
Yeah, baby. Make sure you're following either side with your partner, listening for my AO. Now, once you get over the roll here, guys, it's quite a narrow little glade to get us down into the main part of the run. I hear the AO. Okay. Oh. Hey this is my favorite run. Is it? Yep. It's Ooh, save the right best here. for first. There is a couple cliff ear sections and they're a little bit snarbly. So if you do get Schnarbly. up on top of them, just look before you leap. There is lines through it, but just caution before it full send. No. See you How guys How far at down the bottom. Feet. From here. Uh, you'll find them. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Woo! our guide somehow all 12 of us got split just took our third run absolutely incredible the snow they said it's the best it's been all year they got about probably two and a half feet of fresh super light it's probably 20 degrees so it's it's blower pow it's absolutely incredible so right now the cat's just looking for us and there's another cat coming down the hill oh there's a cat but that's not ours Tracks. I don't know. I think it's right here, but I can't really tell. You see his track? Y'all see tracks over there? Go ahead. 
Okay. I think he went straight through. All right. You see tracks, Mike? Get my tracks, make sure you get out to the road easy. Yeah, baby. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, just as long as we're kind of building off. That was a short run. Sick. <laughs> oh, oh my god that was crazy that was that was, that was deep. buttery <laughs> that was really deep <laughs> Keep going. Uh, try to keep cutting that way. <sighs> oh, it's so deep. Dang. Yeah, as far as you can. Whoa. Okay, next rider. Drop in. Hurt so bad right now. I've been puking the last two rides. Oh, every bump hurt so bad.
I'm gonna try that one again. <laughs> I got a huge <laughs> thing for other people. Right They get, are they this way or this way? I've seen a couple people hit this way. Uh, right. Stand by there for another five minutes or so, Jim, and then we'll get you to go down the street, okay? Oh, buddy. Zaki. You alright? Right is left! Don't go right! Yeah, you guys are way offline. I don't know how this all happened, but the we gap's are? to the left. You guys going left? You just crossed my track. Now you're off a bit again, but you can see me here at the bottom of the meadow. Oh. There we go. I don't see DK. From a survival standpoint, it's probably a good thing. Last run into the cat, baby. Cat scratch fever. Are you still nauseous or is it more the sickness? Both. Huh? Both. It's getting worse? I'm, bar I'm barely fucking riding. It hurts so bad. Right. I ended up in the hospital today, unfortunately, and not because of an injury or doing something stupid, jumping off a cliff. Um, it was actually a pre-existing injury I had with my kidney. Um, the pain got so bad. I got so nauseous. I was throwing up all day, um, basically since the second or third run. So I was a little bit miserable, but... I mean, still one of the best days of the season, best days of my life was thigh deep powder, you guys. I'm not kidding. Thigh deep, blower, light, cold. We broke out. It's time to go get Diesel. My brother's been taking care of him. Thank God Matt was here. Oh, that was pretty scary. We just got the replacement board from Lib Tech. I was not expecting this, but they sent me the 2024 model next year's release since my other one delammed and cracked that was super cool of them this brand new one this design is sick nelson is the place the train up here is unreal they usually get a lot of snow although it's been a tough season for them this year um, we absolutely timed this one perfectly definitely had a wake-up call it just goes to show you how fast Things can change out here in these mountains. Luckily I had, you know, highly trained guides. I probably wouldn't have gone to the hospital, but they they saw me and the condition I was in and you know they, they got me out of there as soon as possible. So super grateful for the guides at Bald Face Valhalla. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, subscribe. We're in Canada, we got more mountains to hit, more pow on the way. If you guys got any suggestions or any places you want to see, drop a comment, let me know, and I'll try to make it happen for you guys. Until then, we'll see y'all next time.